How do you know that I'm a simple school teacher? Just because it says on LinkedIn. Yes. <laughs> do I look it? <laughs> that is a gigantic stick in the spokes of the bike of social media. Mm. Because mm. you're quite right. And, so, and, and to be honest with you, sorry, sorry for cutting you, Jonathan, no, no, but to no. be honest with you, if you think about it, right, like if we as the users don't have time to vet everyone, do you think LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook has the time to do that? No, no. In fact, nothing about uh, business in general these days tells me that they're applying the resources required. You know, whether it's in, you know, it doesn't matter what sector of the of the economy, we're all facing these long queues in phone systems. We're all facing these, you know, emails that say we can't ask your email. Uh, yeah, it's pretty grim. All right, well, look, let us um, take a couple of examples from you, Inga, first, if you don't mind, and then Sharon afterwards of... Uh, so a story about a specific example that that sort of thing you're happy with that yes absolutely you, you have the floor well um i've had a few experiences where i've had people reach out to me and say oh you're so beautiful or i just love your smile and it's it's not coming from um a good place i mean i you know, I'm not I'm not old, but I'm not young, right? So I've been around and I and I, I totally can get a feel for that person when when I'm getting the message. Yeah. Um one message that really disturbed me was um a few months ago I posted I posted about um myself and my daughters. And I received a message from somebody saying, Inga, you and your three daughters are mine. And I thought, oh my word. You know, that was extremely disturbing. And of course, I, I reported and blocked them. Um, and then, of course, you know, um, disconnected. So, you know, you just have to move on. Uh, there's nothing that you can do outside of that right like i don't i i certainly don't want to um be responsible for um somebody getting into serious trouble um you know where their livelihood is at stake so you know that's as far as i will go right so you wouldn't report them to the police or something like that no no, no. i mean they haven't done anything besides send me a message right Mm. Um, and and yet that is disturbing very yeah. Sharon can you top that uh, <laughs> well I'm going to tell you and then you know you'll tell me whether I talked or not I, I am French speaking I had a woman who approached me over the July 4th weekend who wrote to me in French and she claimed that she was something in the French embassy, a title, like she was very creative with her title. Then that's a red light. When your title becomes so superfluous, you know that that's not the title. And she commented on, and again, the picture that you see me on LinkedIn, my son-in-law put this picture on maybe 10 years ago. It is a very simple picture. There is nothing suggestive about this picture. And she commented on my eyes and my smile. And then she proceeded to tell me all of the things that she wanted to do to me in French. And i that's the kind of thing you never respond to. However, I did reach out to LinkedIn and I told them that this kind of suggestive behavior, suggestive language is totally inappropriate and it has to be stopped. There is no place for this on LinkedIn. Whether she wrote to me in English or in French, it is totally inappropriate. And I think she was excited about the possibility that she could correspond with me in French because we don't always meet French-speaking people. 
but this is totally not acceptable.